Hey, this is Jen from the Brassy Broadcasting Company here with a quick tutorial on how to create your own podcast intro theme music in GarageBand using Apple Loops. And the way I usually start is trying to figure out how do I want my podcast theme music to feel. And if I'm working with a client, one of the first things I usually ask them is if you could have any band or any artist perform your theme song, who would it be? And why would you choose them? What elements of their style or a particular song of theirs grabs your attention? And I also ask them how they want their audience to feel when they listen to their show and try to get an idea of what instruments might be a good representation of those, of either their show or their brand or their personality. Do you need a didgeridoo? How about a banjo? Or maybe you need just a cool, funky organ. So let's get started here in GarageBand. I've got just a blank project open up. And the first thing I'm going to do is add some more tracks to this. So I'm going to go click the plus button. And it looks like we've already got one software instrument track on there. I'm going to add a second one. And then I'm going to go back in and add a couple of the audio tracks. And I'll show you why I set it up that way here in just a minute. All right. So we've got at least four tracks that can get us started. And then come over here, click on this loop to open up the Apple Loop browser. Now, the next thing that you wanna do, and I'm gonna explain here why some of these are green and some of these are blue. So the green tracks are gonna be software instrument tracks. And so you need to put them on these two channels up here, those two tracks. And then if you have one with a blue symbol in front of it, then you are going to put it on the actual audio track. So just something to keep in mind. I'm not going to go into what the differences are between those two. Just keep that in mind as you are choosing your tracks. So let's get started building this track. Now I know that I want to start with kind of a cool, just acoustic guitar acoustic guitar vibe. So I'm going to click on guitars and then I know that I want a nice cool acoustic guitar. And then I've actually gone through and marked some favorites by just checking the boxes here because it gets overwhelming when you try to listen to a lot of these. So I recommend clicking a box when you find something that you kind of like. And then you can sample the track just by clicking on it. All right, so that's kind of fun. So I'm gonna take that, drag it over here. And then just to start out, I'm gonna to go to probably 16, which these numbers up here are counting your bars. So I'm gonna drag that out to 16. Stop it right at the bar mark. And I just did that by grabbing right up there. Okay, so let's go back and play this track. And then it just starts to loop over again. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I dig that. Now the second thing I want to do is I want to add a little bit of percussion to this. So I'm going to go back up here, hit click on reset. And I know that I want a little shaker in there just to give it a little rhythm. And i would already marked a couple of the shaker sounds that I like down here. That seems like a little too much for this. So let's try this one. That's pretty chill, laid back. So you can see that this one is green, so we're going to drag it to this green track up here. Let's just play this and see how it sounds together. All right, everything matches up pretty solid there. And then let's add a little tambourine to that. So we'll go back up here, hit reset. And rather than searching for tambourines over here, I can also just type that in the search box. And then that's gonna bring up a lot of the tambourine tracks. So I think this is one that we liked. Yeah, not too crazy wild. So we will just add that to the mix. And then I need to drag both of these out. All 
All right, so we should have a pretty good feeling track so far. Yeah. Now, if we want to get a little crazier, we can actually add some drums in there too, which is always a cool thing to do. So we're going to go back to all drums. And I know that I want an acoustic, real live sounding drum set, or at least as real life sounding as it is going to sound uh, from a loop. So the 60s shuffle drum set's pretty cool. I think that's going to fit nicely. And since this has the blue, we're going to drag that over to the blue track and sample that. So that all seems to fit together pretty well. And then you can just continue to add to that. Like next, most logically, would probably be to add a bass line. But I want to get into a little bit of the mixing on this. So I'm going to close out the loops. And when you're mixing this together, the main thing that you want to do to pay attention to is pay attention to the volume levels on each track. And when I start to mix, I'm going to highlight this little arrow up here the cycle button, or just press the C on your keyboard. And then I'm going to drag that out for this entire section. And then that'll play it back and forth so I can experiment without having to go back and keep hitting play. So let's try it without the drums. Just hit the mute button. Maybe we just take the drums down a little bit. But we want to have the guitar as the main instrument that you're hearing mostly. We could probably take that tambourine down a little bit. Maybe bring that shaker up a little. All right, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. And again, there's no right or wrong. It's whatever sounds good to your ears. And then the other thing that I like to do with this is go to the track menu and show master track and then we're going to add that down here click on that and then go to this dial and that's going to bring up this menu down here and then we can um, add some reverb and maybe some eq to the master track and the overall mix so we're going to click on this little i button over here and then you can see what plugins are on here so if you click what's highlighted there which is the eq and then play the sample We want to pull some of that bass out and experiment. You can almost make it sound like it's coming through a telephone. Or click on one of these and kind of start dragging it around the middle. I'm going to leave that pretty much like it is and close that out and then I'm going to add some reverb to this so rather than the compressor I'm going to go to this arrow that's going to bring up my menu I'm going to go down here select a reverb go to platinum verb and click up here to go to the default settings and I really like starting with these default settings it's a great place to start and then you can just kind of season to taste so I'm going to go with the live club setting and we'll play that and see how it sounds. So it's gonna sound a little more wet, a little more reverb when we drag that up to 100. And then it goes away when you drag it back to the left. And then if you wanna sample it without the reverb, click on this blue button that turns it off yeah adding some reverb just gives it a little bit of life so you can play around with all of those settings until you get it just how you like it go back to the beginning and then to export this file you're gonna go to share export song to disk at this point, rather than choosing an MP3, I'm going to choose the AIFF file because it's going to be uncompressed and higher quality. And we'll just come up with video sample song and then hit export. And that's it. That's all you have to do to make your podcast theme music. 
using Apple Loops that come in GarageBand. If you've got any questions, feel free to email me, jen, J-E-N, at brassybroad.com. And you can always visit the website, brassybroad.com, to see more tutorials on how to use GarageBand in your podcasting. See ya.